One of the physical water quality parameters that we monitor at Utah Water Watch is called turbidity. Turbidity is the amount of suspended material in a stream or in a lake. This can be sediment, such as soil, or plant material, like algae particles that are in the water. Basically, turbidity is a fancy word for water clarity. In the stream, we use what's called a turbidity tube to monitor how clear the water is. If you look at this tube, it has uh, a ruler on it with centimeters, and way down at the bottom is a white and black disc. We fill this tube all the way up with water, and then we can lower it to the level when we can just start to see the white and black disc. That tells us how clear the water is. So the first step is to go into the stream and to fill it up. Go to your monitoring location, and when you're at your monitoring location, you want to sample the water that's coming from upstream. You don't want to sample the water downstream after you've stirred up the sediment. Take your turbidity tube. You don't want to sample right at the surface, just right below, a little bit below the surface, so stick it down underneath, and then put the whole thing up and let it start to fill all the way to the top. Now once you've filled it all the way up, you want to make sure that you can look through the tube and be able to see. If you can fill it all the way to the top and look through the tube, then you will record that the whole water column is clear. So what this means is, on your data sheet, you would select the greater than symbol and write down 60 centimeters. Because in theory, if I had a longer tube, I could fill this keep filling this tube up to increase the clarity of the water. So this is what happens when you have a very clear water, very clear stream. Now let me go demonstrate if you're on a different stream, such as like the Colorado River, the Green River, that naturally have a higher sediment, a higher turbidity to the water. So now for demonstration purposes, I've artificially increased uh, the turbidity stirred up the water so we have all this suspended sediment. So now when I look down through the tube, I can no longer see the white and black disc. So now we're just letting the water drain out just so we can start to see the outline of the white and black disc. You want to make sure that you do this in an even amount of, of light, so either all sun or all shade. And right there. Now when I look down, I can just start to see the white and black outline. So then I would go on, on the scale and look, we have 10, 20, 25 centimeters. So this is what I would record on my data sheet. I would record, circle the equal signs because it equals 25 centimeters. Once you have a measurement of of the turbidity level using your turbidity tube, you can then on your chart convert that to the units that we use to monitor turbidity. They're called NTUs, is the, the unit of measurement. Um, turbidity is something that varies naturally in all streams. Think about how clear this stream is versus the color of the Colorado River. What we don't want to see with streams is extremely large changes in them. They have seasonal changes from when we have high flows uh, in spring during our, the snow melt and the high runoff periods, but we don't want to see very large changes in them because that could be a sign that something in the watershed is going on and we're getting too much erosion, too much sediment, or too much plant growth in a, in a stream. In Utah, for recreation and for fishery, we never want to see an increase greater than 10 NTUs from our previous measurements. So that's the water quality standard for recreation and warm water and cold water fisheries. This is a variation of how we do this in lakes. In lakes, we use the same Secchi disc. It's just an eight inch disc bigger that we lower down into the water column. And if you're interested in seeing that, watch our video on monitoring turbidity in lakes.